What's up? First day uh, planning to plant cotton. I'm uh, gonna put the new hydraulic drive planters on the 8295 right here. Hook them up to the implement trailer. Go about 70 miles. And really uh, strange for us, or not strange, but out of the ordinary, we're gonna no-till it. And it doesn't look very pretty. Let's check it out. Here we go, long way to go. Yeah, he is right. There's a lot, a lot of ryegrass, especially in spots. It's kind of the lower, wetter areas. But <clears throat> we have a plan. We have a plan, and that plan is to completely no-till it and yeah, just run the planters straight over the top of the old stalks. We planted this flat, but with all the traffic on it, um, mainly the pickers, I guess, with spacers being running in just about every middle, um, have made somewhat of a bed. Come back with, we're gonna come back with a shredder and get all of that ryegrass. This is just a yard right here, probably. It's not that grassy, but yeah, we'll come back with a shredder or bush hog or something mower. And after we plant it, fertilize it, and spray it, my dad's on the way with the other planter. Uh, we're gonna run two planters, gonna no till it, plant them right on top of these old beds, uh, put fertilizer out with the spreader truck spray uh another shot of burn down because we have burned down it but it was very early and the roundup did not kill that ryegrass so yep let's get started wait on a cotton seed really but he should be here tonight This right here is what most of the ground looks like. Of course, this is sort of a rolling, rolling farm, rolling hills type ground. It's really sticky. That's another reason we're not breaking it, or the main reason we're not breaking it up. Um, we're gonna try to plant it about an inch 
or so deep. And just gonna plant right there on my old beds. Going behind this shop to start and get a line and go. The alarm may have went off right back here. I don't know what went wrong. All right, we finally got it uh, set about how we want it. We're planting target rate 50,000 seeds per acre. Uh, we're trying to plant about three inches from the existing row. And let's see. See, we're on a pretty big farm here, about 500 acres. Let's keep rolling. Well, we're still planting, but uh, did have a little issue. Just a bad sensor, we think. That's what we've got it narrowed down to. Um, row number five, as you can see right there, that red one that's showing uh, zero seed population. Um, there's a little sensor that counts seed population on the older planters. It would just be whether or not it was planted or not. Um, and we've cleaned it out, shed connections, and plugs, and We've stuck the little brush cleaner thing up through the seed tube to make with the other, all the other rows, the sensor will light up if the stick is in the seed tube. That one will not. Uh, but we have screwdriver, pocket knife, blade, check the seed, and we cannot find where it's missing at all missing planning so still rolling uh, my dad went through a mud hole a while ago and he was digging his planter out it's not funny not funny if it's happened to you for sure um, Glenn spraying Roundup burning down this uh, what grass has came back since the original burned down Robbie is spread fertilize uh, they should be about 200 acres in. We're about 300 acres in with planters. Um, that is very soft, and we did shallow seeds up from about an inch deep to about three quarters to a half, maybe. It's kind of hard to tell. This ground varies so much from one end to the other. It'll be in dry, hard dust, and then that's just borderline mud, but it's, it's drying out fast. It's like sunny, 75, May the 15th, first cotton field. We gotta roll, we gotta go. Clock's ticking.
getting off to check the number five sensor, just kind of look at the planters. Number five road. That's the sensor has gone bad. I'm just stopping to see if it's still planting. Um, so what I'm going to do, the easiest, quickest way, you know, one, two, three, four, five, is look right there. See if there's some seed. There he is, see the little blue? Two little blue seeds. This should be every, well, I slowed down really slow right here, so there's two hills right together. That was Robbie, he's fishing to bring the seed buggy over here, and uh, we're gonna fill up. Yeah, the two, two seed heel drop cotton is just simply, the heel drop in general is the more seeds you have in a heel, the more push power you have to break the crust of the ground. And uh, yes, I checked all those rows, and basically every six inches, five and three quarters, six inches, there'll be two seeds right beside each other. My dad's planter is uh, doing three seed heel drop. The other, other planter that we have running uh, back towards home also is three seed heel drop, and that is determined by the plates that you're using. Um, it's where the holes are at in the plates, the vacuum plates. But I am getting low ish on seed, that about a third. I told him a quarter of a third. This is about as close as I'm going to get to yard up here for a little while but about to fill up on rolling to get to work late tonight it's rain it is saturday rain coming in monday night i believe we're gonna try to pack all the acres and hours we can into the next few days 